guys to invite me down here in Michael on this Thursday morning, October the 19th. Uh, I am doing some sanding. I can't do it all right now because there are still wet patches. Uh, anything that you see that's dark in color is still wet. So I'm going to get what I can and I'm going to try to leave this door over here open and try to get some air going through here uh, see if we can help uh, get this mud to set up because I'd like to start painting tonight so <laughs> probably won't happen I may get to start tomorrow Friday Uh, yesterday I did go ahead and sand all the screws off, so they are done. Um, now I will probably have to go back and touch up a few spots. I'm going to sneeze. Anyway, white. I will probably have to go back and touch up a few spots, and I may sneeze again. Sometimes but there might be some tape still showing or something. So uh, with that, I would usually just take a small knife and go over it and, <clears throat> and then sand it down a little bit. But uh, yeah, so I mean, not much to look at today. You don't want to sit here and watch me sand for the next hour. So uh, anyway, I'm just kind of showing you this clip, getting the day rolling. I'll also, if I remember, I'll show you my paint color. I bought my paint last night. <clears throat> and uh, I went with, it with at least one bold color and then one not so bold. And uh, I think it's going to look pretty cool. So stick around, guys, for the next clip. And uh, I'm going to get nice and dirty and uh, disgusting. So stick around, guys. Like I mentioned, uh, I'm going to probably have to touch up a few spots, and sometimes it's these runs of your tape that you got to kind of touch up. Because you don't want to fill the tape, you don't want to see the tape, you don't want to paint over the tape. Something like this is where that really lightweight uh, joint compound comes in handy because it sands off really easily. Uh, so if you got some ridges, which is okay in this case because you're trying to build up a little bit on the tape, it sands off real easily and you want to stick to the edges when you're doing it, uh, when you're sanding. That way you don't take off the mud that's on the tape. You just want to barely go over that and get the edges. So. Just a little bit of a tip for whenever you have to do that. Nine times out of ten, you gotta do that. So stick around for another clip, guys. Another quick tip, guys. When you're sanding, take time to run over with your hand. And you can feel the imperfections. And when you find an imperfection, mark it out. You'll see I have some here. Yeah, you probably can't see all of them. I have some stuff marked out. And, uh, so just make sure you fill over everything. It's also a good idea if you have a light, to take a light and shine as well. That helps to show the imperfections a little bit easier even, uh, especially if you're in a dark area. So uh, that way you get a nice smooth finish if you find all the flaws and fix them. So, just a little tip for you guys. All right, stick around for the next clip. <clears throat> all right, guys, here we are. Uh, just went over this corner. Notice there's some writing that says finish corner. Uh, so, I gotta make sure I 
remember that. And that's what I do with all these things. This here says sand, where I patched up here. And that says sand and sand inside. I got the outsides of the corner, but the insides are still a little damp. So the insides have to be sanded down. Sand here, sand here. Uh, just a couple of spots along the way. Uh, sand this seam again, because I had to do a little mud. Of course, these insides of the corners are still wet. I did the outsides. Got this little patch here, a little bit here to mess with. Uh, I think that one up there is done, but uh, yeah, just a couple of little spots and uh, yeah. If all this will dry, I can get that sanded this afternoon and even start painting if I want. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, we're winding it down guys. Winding it down. So uh, I told you I would show you the color choices uh, for my walls. Let me go get the paint samples, the uh, little sample things. Let me go get those. I'll be right back. All right, so like I said, uh, let's look at some paint samples, guys. And uh, it's the colors that I'm at. And it's going to look different on the wall a little bit, so. Uh, and the lighting matters, so let's take a look. This is called Carrot Cake. Carrot Cake. Now I'm only doing one wall this color. And I don't know which wall it'll be, but it's gonna be one wall. Now for the other one. Let's take a look. See, it's a little bit more tame, a little bit normalish. But here we go. Graceful. It's called graceful. So it's kind of a bluish color. Kind of a pastel-y kind of bluish color. Sorta of, kinda of, sorta. Of. So, anyway, let's take a look, see over here, I'll put them right here. Not that this lighting is any good, but there we go. So, there we go, guys. So again, I'm only gonna do one wall, one color, and one column, uh, one, another wall, another color, and I'm gonna do another wall, uh, just in like a white, just to kind of have some different contrasts and different stuff. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so that's the end of this clip. If I do more tonight, we'll add on to this, and I'm sure I will. So stick around for more, guys, and uh, don't go anywhere. We're getting done. We're getting there. All right, guys, one more little clip in this uh, video from today. So I had to do something and eventually I had to get one anyway. So I went ahead and I got a new heater. <clears throat> and hopes that it will do plenty. I mean, it's doing something. So, <coughs> yeah, we gotta get some heat in here and get this mud dry. Because if it was dry right now, I could have already sanded it all today and been painting tonight. So, 
Uh, this room is pretty airtight, not having any doors, you know, outside doors or windows or anything. So it's pretty tight and there's no real, you know, movement. I can't get any air really going. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, so hopefully by morning, this is going to be totally dry and that will be, where am I aiming this? Where am I aiming that? Well, anyway, hopefully it'll be totally dry and ready to go. So yeah. Anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff for the body beat down. That's me, Michael. Your host with the most. Eh, I don't know. I did eat a roast, but no toast. So anyway, get up, get out of your head. Do it to it. No, really, I just had some roast. It's good. Get up, get out, get mad, and do it, do it!